Well, Brian, it happened just yesterday in the parking lot of a giant food store on Muddy Branch Road in Gaithersburg. And what this man is accused of doing is both disgusting and dangerous. It happened right in this parking lot outside this Gaithersburg grocery store. Police say 28 year old Michael Edwards Jr. had been staring at a woman and then attacked her in the parking lot. And a bottle like this was his weapon of choice. Police say the man approached a young woman from behind and used the pump to spray a liquid on her back and hair. The investigation revealed that that substance was, in fact, human semen. And it gets worse. After arresting and interviewing Edwards, police are convinced there are other victims. There are death threats and calls for the death penalty for a Silverton man who knew he was HIV positive when he allegedly raped a six-month-old baby. Police say the suspect, Lenny Love Jr., confessed he raped the baby. The baby is receiving medical treatment. Authorities say they haven't received the motive as to why the suspect allegedly attacked the baby. This story is just so disturbing on so many levels. Police tell us that those four boys range in age from 9 to 14 years old. The boys, they say, lured the little girl into that shed by offering her chewing gum. Police say she was restrained and then raped for at least 15 minutes. And police tell us that the uh, four suspects and the victim are all refugees from the West African nation of Liberia. Investigators are dealing with a big cultural difference here. Officers will not go into detail about the attack, which happened on July 16th, but they say they haven't seen anything this bad in a long time. Tonight's top story, an eight-day-old baby girl in Arkansas is in the hospital. Forest City police say she was raped and beaten by her own father. Here's the guy police say did it, 18-year-old Reginald Davis. Tonight he's charged with rape and second-degree battery. Investigators say the baby had been raped and beaten by her 18-year-old father. Police say the newborn's injuries were so bad, she was moved from this hospital in Forest City to the Arkansas Children's Hospital in Little Rock. 